is quite a quick finisher, by the way, for Gerostana, but uh, hasn't got, got the edge of some of these riders as Faso Batola begin to take up the run now uh, for Pataki. That's their top sprinter. Can they do it this time through? Faso Batola for number 55, Faso Batola. Look at the push and the shove in the elbow and going on as Faso Batola start to ease their way through in this particular uh, run in towards the finish. A good wide road, a good uh, straight run in here, and still again, it's Aqua Sapona on the front. And looking back there, you can see that uh, I think Vichyosa has probably made his way through, but uh, don't discount uh, uh, Dominguez likewise from the Calme team. And they'll start to jump and jostle all over the place. And the right-hand side, Alexio seems to have run out of steam. And that again is Lombardi on his own. Is Lombardi now going with uh, uh, Cipollini on his wheel? He'll be suddenly exposed. And Hunt comes up here. Graham Brown moves into position two as well in the orange jersey. Honda is there in the orange. And then so is Cipollini on his own. Left-hand side, Calme Vichyosa has made it through there. And I think on uh, Cipollini's wheel, it might be Stratza. Stratza goes for but Cipollini gets with Stratza. Hondo there into third spot. And Cipollini gets it yet again. Cipollini takes that victory and uh, hit the line just ahead, I think, of Stratza. And uh, that was a tremendous, well-timed sprint yet again, giving his 36th victory in the Tour of Italy. And Cipollini, doesn't he make it look so easy? He looked, uh, though, when Lombardi pulled over, that he was exposed on his own for far too long. But he made no doubt about it. He had the power still to keep going, despite the efforts from Stratza to come through and Hondo there uh, in either second or third spot. Wait for confirmation on that one. So he's just saying that uh, the team did a great job today. I'm very happy about that. There's a quick interview going down there. We're picking up bits of it for you, but. Uh, Giovanni, Giovanni. Well, let's look at it again from the top here. Pushing and shoving, you can see this on the left-hand side when actually Honda had to find his way through the rubber bank rider, taking Stratza quite behind him. Brown there in the orange, finding his way through, the big bulky fellow Brown, just hovering on the wheel of Stratza. This is before we got to that, uh, when they start to spread a bit. And a lot of riders said, well, that's it, we'll leave Cipollini on his own. Going off the right-hand side was not the right line to take at all. It's far too late. In fact, that's Pataki got the wrong line. So he starts to come across. Brown then is one, two, three, four, five back from the front. Lombardi's still doing the great job uh, running off the front of the, uh, of the field. Lombardi then, Cipollini, then Honda. And here comes Brown up the inside, gets through Stratzer, gives him a bit of the old one-two, and then gets Honda's wheel. But he's running out of steam, is Brown, and so it's up to Stratzer now to start going. And uh, then... Cipollini has got a, a long way out. Honda's still on his wheel. Stratzer then comes through. And, in fact, Stratzer starts to go for second place as uh, Cipollini takes first. Yes, yeah, Stratzer second, Honda into third spot. Oof. Well, it uh, looks like we've got to go uh, very uh, quickly. We're going to have the overall standing, I hope, up there for you and the situation. But uh, it won't, says he, looking at the position here, made great difference to the overall. Gazzelli still there, which should keep the... Uh, uh, pink jersey. He was in the main pack and the few seconds bonus that Cipollini has got today will not have made a great deal of difference to him. It'll move him up a little bit. Uh, Cipollini this morning, one minute and eight seconds down, will now uh, be uh, whew, just inside the minute down, so no great overall changes. Cipollini will have moved up a little bit. He was 30th this morning, but he isn't so much worried about the overall classification. He's just uh, enjoying yet another victory in his uh, great career as a sprinter in the Tour of Italy. So that situation, no change overall, and uh, the victory going to the Lion King himself, roaring with that uh, success. So that takes him his 36th victory. That makes him two in this one. He only got one victory last year in the... Uh, uh, sorry, he got four victories last year, one the year before that, four before that, four before that. So he's, he's usually knocks up around about four victories uh, in the Tour. And tomorrow could be another chance. It's going to be pretty flat tomorrow into the finish again. And uh, the way he's going at the moment, he started the season in superb form, winning the Milan San Remo. That really set uh, his whole season. He could almost have retired after that because it made him the, really, as far as the Italians were concerned, the number one when he took Milan San Remo. He'd been racing for about 14 years now. No one Milan San Remo got that one. Then a superb ride in the Gent Velbergum when he went away and caught up with uh, two or three leading riders. And then the Gent Velbergum uh, rode away and got himself uh, the finish then. So that was another semi classic to him, and he's kept his form now 
uh, Cipollini with yet another victory in the Tour of Italy, making 36 in all. But in fact, it's Galvez Lopez that made his way up, and uh, Kalivov, you can see the rest of the runoff down there, and Pataki and De Jong. Well, De Jong having all sorts of problems with Brown, they sort of bumped into each other, but they hadn't got the speed to get up there to uh, Cipollini 